Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware again, here with the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. You are looking at the underside of the machine, and if you're not familiar with this notebook, it is actually a 15-inch hybrid 2-in-1 laptop, Ultrabook really, that Dell has just released, built on Intel's KB Lake G processor that incorporates both Intel 8th Gen Quad Core processor technology as well as AMD Radeon RX Vega M graphics on the same chip, a multi-chip module, a collaboration by two arch rivals, AMD and Intel. So it's a very unique processor and graphics solution inside this notebook and this is one of the first hybrid two-in-one devices on the market, one of the first notebooks period actually built on it. Check out the full review that we launched here a few days back, full video review, as well as our full review at hothardware.com to learn more about this machine. But some of you wanted to know what was going on under the hood of the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. So I'm gonna do a partial teardown here. I'm gonna pull a few screws and get you into the battery and storage area of the machine. I'm not gonna do a full teardown. We still have to work with this notebook a little bit, so I wanna be careful with it. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and take you through a little bit of how to get underneath the hood and uh, maybe some options in terms of upgradability in the future in terms of storage and what have you. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first, a few tools of the trade here. We have a number five Torx bit driver. That's that guy right there. My favorite tool to say and use, the spudger right there. Little plastic wedgie guy. And then this is a very small, tiny Phillips head driver as well that we'll be working with. And that's really all you need to get inside this machine. Let's go ahead and pull those Torx screws. And as you can see, they're located all around the edge of the machine here. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and start backing those out. Number five is uh, the size of Torx bit that I am using. And we will pull those and we won't bore you with pulling each and every one of them. We'll just cut to the chase here shortly. But actually, before we go much further, let me just show you what I'm working on here. I've got the studio table, of course, but I've also got underneath the machine a nice soft microfiber cloth padding it from the top of the table. So a little protection there. And I am also grounded, have a foot strap on. And uh, so you got to observe good ESD protection when working with this machine. And let's just keep going on those torque screws. Okay, I'm finishing up with the last screw here on the right side. Go ahead and pull that. Actually, they come out real easy. Small little guys, but there you have it. All the torque screws are now pulled from each of the sites on this machine. Obviously, easy to work with just because of those screws. And now we want to pry the lid up. And we do that right along here. There's a little small hole in the chassis, just a little pinhole that you can get the, get the spudger in between. Now once you get that in there, just kind of pry, pry it open as you go along the edge. And voila, we are inside the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. So let's take you in tight to a very important part of the machine right here. If you look closely next to this, screw that actually holds the SSD down, you will see there is a very tiny little on-off dip switch. Now what that switch does is actually cut power to the machine from the battery. It's set in the on position now. We're gonna go ahead and flip that up to the off position and that cuts the battery power from the machine so we can go ahead and work on it and not have to worry about it being charged. So now that we've got the power cut, we can show you around a little bit. We'll go ahead and pull this little piece of it adhesive tape here and lift up this little metal shroud to show you the CPU and GPU cooling complex. As you can see, Dell has fashioned a three heat pipe design for the heat sink area. Uh, this is a passive setup here that pipes along the back edge of the machine. Three heat pipes here and then You've got your two active blower fans here blowing cool air across the back. This is actually a finned heat sink underneath these pipes. But pulling cool air in from the underside of the machine, blowing it out the back through this little slit in the bottom of the machine. That's where hot air vents out 
and that comprises the cooling system for the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. But focusing in here a little bit closer on the storage area, you can see Dell has a little bit of a thermal pad here that we can peel back gently. I'll move it off to the side here. And you can see there is your NVMe M2 style gumstick SSD right there. And we'll go ahead and pull the screw just to show you we can we can remove the SSD. Fairly simple stuff. Get my meaty paws out of the way. And there you go. That is how you would, if you so choose, upgrade your SSD or change it out. The Toshiba NVMe M2 style gumstick SSD right there scores about three gigs a second reads and about a gig a second per write, so pretty snappy. And pulling back a little bit for more show and tell here, you can see the 75 watt hour battery by Dell is located here in the front, big long slice of battery right here. And then two stereo speakers on either side of the battery as you can see as well. This is an interesting area here. You've got a couple of ribbon cables and connectors, which we'll pull now to show you uh, the IOB and the MB connectors, motherboard and IO board, I assume that stands for. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And here we are a little bit tighter on the IOB and MB ribbon cables with two very interesting connectors. Let's go ahead and pull the screws. They're Phillips head style screws and We'll retract those and show you this connector. So now that we've got them both removed, there's a little bit of adhesive holding them down here to the fan cages. If you just pull up gently on that along the bottom, we can remove this entire strip like so. So again, there's a little bit of adhesive on the flip side of this that sticks it down to the fan shroud, but this is an interesting and very complex ribbon cable actually to the motherboard and IO board. And if you flip it over, you can see right here, these two tabs have a bunch of contact points on either end of the cable. And those contact points actually settle down on this part of the connector, which is a ceramic pad of sorts with more contact points. Let's take you in tight on that. So this little fella right here is what matches up to that ribbon cable. And as you can see, it's a little piece of PCB with gold contacts on either side that matches up with the motherboard. And it's notched, or I should say keyed, so that there's two little posts that drop right in and align it perfectly so you can make sure you have your contacts aligned perfectly. And really, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of it. I'm not gonna go any further than that, just to show you how to get access to the bottom of the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. The memory of the machine, the, the RAM, we have a 16 gig of RAM set up in this model, is actually installed on the motherboard. It's not module type, it's not upgradable. I believe it is on the flip side of the uh, top side of the uh, motherboard right here underneath. Uh, you can't see here, but on the top side, and that's also where uh, Dell puts a small piece of gore material that shields the top of the machine from the user to uh, isolate heat and to keep that heat down the bottom of the machine here and venting out through the cooling system. And that's another thing we can't see here until we pull the motherboard and I'm just not gonna tear it down that far. 
And of course, this is the system battery right here for the real-time clock. Standard watch style battery with a two-wire tether. And that's really about it. That's all that's really user accessible and serviceable in the Dell XPS 15 2 one Certainly you get access to the battery. You can maybe clean those fans with a little compressed air and get access to your storage if you'd like to upgrade that or swap out the NVMe solid state drive. RAM is not user upgradable, but fairly easily accessible here on the bottom side of the machine for some serviceability of the Dell XPS 15 2 one Make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review and check out the full video review here on YouTube. Hit thumbs up and subscribe if you like this quick little teardown. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 once again. Thanks for stopping by.